Hello everyone, and well, we leave the grid in Australia now, flying towards the first corner, I've overtaken him. I think I need to calm down, I haven't even done the introduction yet, and I'm already leaving the grid. And I'm up into P7 from P, wherever I was on the grid as we head towards the first corner now, looking for no contact, is inevitably going to be contact, is it going to involve me? No, I've got away with it, and I've almost been taken out by the Toro Rosso there, but it's not too bad holding P7 well, no, I've not been hit by McLaren, what? 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 Oh, I've been hit wide. Oh, I've been... Why was that a penalty? That was... That was a bit strange. That was a weird penalty decision for them to give me that penalty there. What?! Is this game a joke? Right. Let's go back and have a look at this, because I can't see justification for any of those penalties. I don't even know what's happened, so let's have a... Let's have another look. So, Torosso's just ahead. McLaren comes, touches me onto the grass, hit the grass, get an instant penalty. I don't, for causing a collision apparently, then I get hit wide, I don't know how the collision was my fault there with the McLaren, but anyway, more to the point, where is the second penalty from, where is that from in that entire incident, I got hit wide from behind onto the gravel, absolutely nothing, and then I get a penalty, and that Sauber there has just forgotten to break for this corner and, and, and lost that position, and the Ferrari has also forgotten to turn his wheel, so he spun out. Anyway, we're going to forget about that and continue in this race in P9. We're going to hunt down this, uh, there's a Frenchman ahead of me and someone ahead of him, and they're all having a very nasty go at each other as we head towards the horrible chicane that I hate to take when you're near someone, unless you can have them around the outside in that spectacular fashion, and left in for chips, and I'm up into P8 now, which is absolutely brilliant news, and I'm now behind Gaz P2712, in a Force India, and he's British, and he might be very feisty, and if he is, I'm going to show him the door, because I'm in absolutely no mood now to be dealing with noob drivers after those two penalties that I cannot even work out where they came from. <laughs> I can't even... If you know where they came from, please, please tell me, because I have absolutely no idea. That was a bit weird. Anyway, we start in lap two in P8. I'm behind this Toro Rosso. I'm going to look to overtake him. I don't know where the Britishman in the Force India has gone, but I've overtaken the Toro Rosso, the Swiss guy. And now I've got another Frenchman up ahead, and I should be having him very, very soon at this rate because I'm flying through the field. I'm cutting the, ch I'm cutting the field up like cake at the moment, and I've cut him up like cake because I've just overtaken him. Now, moving on, and I think it is the, uh, it is the Force India man ahead of me now. Uh, Gaz P2712. And the nothing interesting happens for the next two laps, so let's pick a really not annoying, not overplayed song to play whilst I play the next lap in fast motion. Open Gangnam Style! Gangnam Style! Open Gangnam Style! Gangnam Style! Open Gangnam Style! Well, that was lovely, wasn't it? Anyway, we're in P6. I haven't moved an inch since this, about this time last lap where nothing really happened. I didn't want to waste your day and my day watching a lap that nothing happened in. But this Gaz P is all over the rear end of the car in front of him and I'm all over Gaz P's rear end. So let's see what can happen. The Mercedes has cracked under pressure and spun out. And there's a two cars out that have clearly come together in, in the second sector there and uh, I'm up onto the podium here. And it's going very well. I've just been following this Gaz P for about three laps. Well, two laps. And uh, and just reeling in the field. And now I'm going to reel in Gaz P as we head towards the final sector of the last lap. And I'm going to fly through this chicane. Can I have him on the exit of the chicane? Maybe. I've got a little bit wide, but so's he. Curse abuse as we fly through here. Am I going to be able to take him into this next corner? Probably not. I'm fishtailing all over the place like a salmon. And now I've not managed to get it, but I'm still all over his rear. And I'm going to commit down his inside here. And oh, how predictable is that? And McLaren has decided... Oh, he's just... Oh, I've got to... Oh, for God. There's so much shed about that last corner. I can't even... I can't even describe it all to you. I get smashed from behind by the McLaren, which takes out Gaz, who I was trying to race fairly. And then I'm off the podium. Brilliant. Absolute. Cheers for that, McLaren. And now let's watch my positions tumble with the 30 seconds of penalties. Down to P5. Yep, down to P6. Is it going to get worse than that? Am I going to get worse than P6 because of these damn penalties? Yep, P7. Oh, P8. Fantastic. None of those penalties were justified, apart from the last one. But it wasn't really justified because I got hit into gas. I was... 
I got hit into... You can watch this, my speedometer in the bottom right if you want, and you'll see it jump mystically 30 miles an hour as I get romped from my rear. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.